from your weather authority, Chief Meteorologist Wayne Hart. Well, the fall festival is uh, finally here. It was out there this evening. A huge crowd. I haven't seen that much traffic in the 5.30 to 6 o'clock time frame heading down the Lloyd over the uh, Pigeon Creek uh, than I did today. And why not? It was a beautiful day. Sausage burger, Philly cheesesteak, and uh, fried catfish sandwich uh, to kick off the fall festival tonight. Making up for lost time, but you'll have ample opportunity to get out all week long. No issues at all this uh, year. It's just a question of what temperatures you prefer. And today, for most, I think it was just about perfect with highs in the low to mid 70s, and we'll be there again tomorrow. But this uh, fall festival will feature three days in the 70s, two days in the 60s, and one day in the 80s. So last year we had four days in the 80s and only two in the 70s. And we were dodging scattered showers and thunder showers all week, so certainly much better than what we had a year ago. Live first warning Doppler radar, maybe a spotty shower uh, with the front coming through uh, Wednesday into Wednesday night, but rain chances right now only running at about 10 percent. And our driest spell of the year continues. We've had very little, if any, rain really of significance over the past week. Well, Here's how the west side was kind of evolving here during day one of the fall festival. Time lapse from our Superior Ag Tower camera starting at 10 this morning. And you can see that traffic picking up there in the Pigeon Creek overpass on the Lloyd for the lunch hour, then especially late this afternoon. And now we'll take a live view of the Midway at the 10-12 uh, mark there. You can see, uh, well, it looks like the Ferris wheel is not moving uh, right now, but uh, I'm sure there's still a lot of folks out there. And uh, every night's going to be nice, but if you like that really chilly fall festival weather, that kicks in for Friday and Saturday evenings. 57 right now, north wind at around 5, with temperatures falling through the 50s. So still 60 in Owensboro, but look at Carmi, they're down to 45. So most of us will wind up in the low to mid 40s by daybreak tomorrow morning, which is on the chilly side for this time of the year. This pattern getting locked in by what we call an omega block. We still have the remnants of Ian off the mid-Atlantic coast, just creating dismally wet weather. That was the case all weekend. Still raining tonight from the Delmarva Peninsula into southern New England. Gale force winds along the coast. Uh, some coastal flooding, uh, so Ian still causing some issues. But until this gets out of the way, the ridge of high pressure that's given us all this beautiful weather has nowhere to go. So it's just sitting over top of us. But the pattern will break down and allow a cold front to approach and then move through the area uh, late on Wednesday. So future tracker keeping us clear for tonight. Tomorrow should be a lot like today, mostly sunny skies. Highs in the low to mid 70s, forecasting 74 to 75 here in the metro, which means tomorrow night will be a lot like tonight. If you're heading out to the festival, temperatures will fall into the 50s during the evening. Our overnight lows will be in the mid-40s by daybreak on Wednesday, which will be a partly cloudy and slightly warmer day. Wednesday afternoon temperatures will be in the mid to upper 70s. But if you like the warmer weather at the Fall Festival, Thursday is the day to plan for. Again, a spotty shower can't be ruled out, but most models are dry. Rain chances at about 5 to 10 percent. Cold front's not coming through until late in the day. So Thursday afternoon, high should at least be around 80, if not in the lower 80s area-wide. And then it turns much, much cooler starting on Friday. So overnight clear and chilly will be 42 to 44. And then mostly sunny tomorrow, a lot like today. 71 to 76 for the high. 70 forecast warm up for the middle of the week. 76 Wednesday, 81 on Thursday. And then the front comes through late in the day. Skies clear Friday, but a windy, chilly 65 for the high, which means Friday night at the Fall Festival, temperatures will be falling through the 50s, and by late Friday evening, we could be around 50, maybe upper 40s, headed to 39 Saturday morning and Sunday morning. A little scattered frost can't be ruled out. A final day of the Fall Festival, Saturday, sunshine. And only 63 degrees, so it won't be as windy. So those are the two really chilly, almost November-like days. Yeah. Uh, perfect weather here for today and the next two. And then if you like the warmer weather, you got Thursday. So take your pick. It's going to be really nice no matter how you slice it. Yeah, yeah no complaints, no. though, even for those folks that may not love those days. Oh, yeah. Still, it's, totally it's going to be one of the nicest weeks yeah. for the, in, in the entire history of the festival. Yeah, love yeah. it. Thank you, Wayne. Yeah.